The iron tongue of midnight hath told twelve. Lovers to bed. I knew we shall sleep the coming morn as much as we this night have ever watched. Oh, this palpable gross play. Half well beguiled. I hope you get night. Sweet friends, to bed. A fortnight holds with this solemnity and nightly revels in new job. Now the hungry lion roars! Well, the wolf, he howls the moon. Whilst the heavy plowman snores, all with weary task foredone. Now the wasted brands do glow, whilst the screech owl, screechy, laugh, puts the wretch that lies in woe in remembrance of a shroud. Now it is the time of night that the graves, all gaping wide, each one lets forth a sprite. In the church way past the glove. And we fairies that do run by the triple Acades team from the presence of the sun, following darkness like a dream. All this frolic. Not a mouse shall disturb this hallowed house. What are you house. talking about? <laughs> I am sent with broom before to sweep the dust behind the door. Through the house, you have glimmering light by the dead and drowsy fire. Every elf and fairy sprite hop as light as bird from briar. And this ditty after me sing and dance it tripping late. First, a hersher song by rogue, to each word a rumbling note, hands in hand with fairy grace, while we sing and bless this book. Now until the break of day, through this house each fairy stray, to the best bride bed will we, which by us shall blessed be. Any issue there create, ever shall be fortunate. So shall all the couples three, ever true and loving be. And the blots of nature's hand shall not in their issue stand. Never mole, hair lip, nor scar, nor mirth prodigious, such as are despised in nativity, shall upon their children be. With this field do consecrate, every fairy take his gate. And each several chamber bless through this palace with sweet peace. And the honor of it blessed ever shall in safety rest. Trip away, make no stay. Meet me all by break of day. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mine, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear, and this weak and idle theme, no more yield, but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.